Hey everyone, Rascal here and welcome to another Rascal of Views. And yes, you read the title right. Today I'm going to be covering My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. And no, there were, I never thought there would be a day that I would review My Little Pony. Yes, we have covered it on Pause and Animation. If you want to check out our channel and watch our coverage of the first seven to eight seasons, go ahead and do it because it's right there in the description for you to click on and watch our thoughts on it with me and Mama Entertainment. Now, I want to talk about the G4 series on my channel because, as you know, there is a G5 existent now. It's been out for a little while, and I'll call My Little Pony New Generation. And originally, this was thought to be just another incarnation of the My Little Pony franchise. Just made new characters, and someone else has taken My Little Pony. Unfortunately, the bad news is that it's not its own thing. It should have been its own thing, but it's not. It actually takes place in the same universe as G4, and they call it G5 because it's literally everyone from the original that you know are dead. I am not kidding you. I am serious. That is what they say. All the characters from the original, they're gone. All these other people in here are new. None of the people from the original are in there. And as they made sure it was hundreds or probably thousands of years into the future. So you knew that none of them had a chance of appearing in their original format. So with that depressing thing out of the way. Let's actually talk about the good things of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. And I had heard about this show for years. I don't think I watched it until maybe four, no, no five years ago now. And I heard about it. It was a huge hit. It wasn't ending yet the time I started watching it, but it was really huge then with boys and girls, men and women, every age were watching My Little Pony. And this was a phenomenon at the time that really uh, uh, baffled some people because My Little Pony has always been targeted as a little girl show, little girl toy. But G4 was created to be for everybody. And it's exactly what happened. Uh, this series was created by and showrunned by Lauren Faust, who's the wife of Craig McCracken. And when you watch a little documentary about My Little Pony in The Toys That Made Us, it actually turns out that Lauren Faust had wanted to do My Little Pony since she was a little girl. And when she finally did G4, she wanted to make it where boys could watch it too and not feel like, oh, it's only for little girls and they don't want to see it because it's all girly. Yeah, it's got its feminine touch to it, of course. It's My Little Pony, but the way that it's written is so well done, it's so fun, it's so enjoyable that it doesn't exclude anybody from watching. Anybody of any age can watch the the show and there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, he has some naysayers and a little controversies at the time of grown men watching it, but to me, if you love the show, watch it. Don't don't doesn't matter what anyone else says. So, started watching the show and it actually really wasn't bad the first season. I kind of thought it was just a fun little uh, show to watch on the side, which is pretty much how we took when we first started. And then you got to season two, and then they actually started to have a little more drama to it with the Camelot wedding and actually had a threatening villain it wasn't a cutesy villain it was actually a villain in here because the original season they just had it end with them going to a big galloping gal which I thought was hilarious but in here there actually were some uh dire situations in here and then as the show went on there ended up being this sort of theme where um they had the elements of harmony fight sort of Villains that would connect with being disharmony, I guess you could say like that. Like you had Discord, you had Chrysalis, you had Tyrant, you had kind of sort of Grogar, you had Cozy Glow. You had villains that were meant to be the total opposite of friendship and magic and harmony. Which I thought was a really brilliant idea because in the end, no matter what, friendship went out in the end. No matter what. And they kept that lesson all the way to the end. And there were actually really long seasons. I think only one season was about 13 episodes, but the rest nearly, nearly hit 26 episodes or they were getting closer and they stopped at 24. And there are just so many great episodes they had, whether it just be really well written, some really hilarious, some that tug at your heartstrings. Like, I think what's considered the greatest episode of the show is The Perfect Pair. And that episode actually has almost nothing to do with the main six. It only has to do with Applejack's parents and their backstory. And that's considered 
one of, if not the greatest episode of the show. And when you watch it, you'll definitely, you'll definitely see why. It's just a really, really great episode. But as each season went on, I think up to, up until all the way to the end, they really had some really good episodes. They would have lessons that would teach you about friendship. It was always something new to learn about friendship every episode. And they probably had a uh, hundred or close to a hundred episodes about friendship. And it was always something new that they taught to either each other or to others or the audience. And it ends with, what did you learn from seeing this? So that was the educational part for the kids if you had little ones watching. And then for the uh, older people watching, they actually had some really good action scenes. There were times where um, they would have some really hard-hitting action, really good drama. They would have Game of Thrones level st uh, style plots. They had a character that was, was using psychological warfare to trick Twilight. And it was even a point in there when it was pretty much like the pinnacle of My Little Pony of establishing itself as more than just a kid's show or more than just a little girl show is when they had season four, I believe, and they had Tyrek as the antagonist. And when they had Twilight fight T-Rex, they didn't just have like a few hits or like she hits him and there's no effect or it's sort of her running away the whole time. They actually go full on Shonen and actually have a little, a little uh, alicorn fighting this giant minotaur and are actually engaged in this Dragon Ball level style, uh, forgive me if you don't like that show, but it was like Super Saiyan level type uh action and they were really going hard on it they were not holding back it was really hitting each other hard and it was at that episode and that scene when it pretty much confirmed this is not just this is not a little girl show this is a show for anybody and they really did a great job of adapting everything into it and just making a perfect accumulation of the original and the others that came before it, and then what people love now it had its own identity and it was just a really well-made show now, the series ran for nine seasons. It had a theatrical film. It had a spin-off series called Equestria Girls, which were uh, spin-off movies taking place in a human world. And then they had a series of IDW comics, which I definitely recommend reading because these are stories that didn't make it into the series, so they put them in the books, and they are still just as great as when you watch the, the animated series. And... After all that is done, the show came to an end. Oh, forgot to mention, they also had a Christmas special and a movie-esque special as well, taking place the same time as the theatrical film. And after, sometime after the show ended, they announced a G5 series was coming, which you weren't surprised at. And it was called Malapone U Generation. And as I said in the beginning, it was originally thought to be just its own thing, because every other show has been its own thing. Well, for some reason, Hasbro was... Someone at Hasbro just wasn't happy with the reception of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, which didn't make any sense because it made them billions of dollars, decided to cancel out G4 and make G5 the main one. Now, if you love G5 and have no problem with it, fantastic. I fully support that you enjoy the series for what it is, whether it be connected or not. And that's great that you found some good parts in it that you yourself enjoyed. But when they get to G5, they kind of just erase everything that the original series done. The original series kind of ends with Harmony is there. It's been restored. Friendship was truly magic. All the problems have been solved. And it's usually like a fairy tale ending. There was no more no more villains, no more discord. Now I mean the character, I mean like no more disharmony. And they were helping people here and there, but as far as like end of Equestria scenarios. It was not there. It, they actually had succeeded in making friendship across the land. But then they get to G5 and at some point they forgot the friendship. And unfortunately the people went back to their ways of being divided against each other. And they got worse because now the earth ponies, the unicorns, and the uh, pegasi all can't stand each other. Which was really weird. When you watch it, it's a really weird thing that they even did that. Like, what was the point of all that work you build up in G4 for them to do that? So, you don't really have to watch G5 if you don't want to. But that's just a warning in case you have any interest in it and you haven't watched it yet. So, for me, I think My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is the best. It's the best incarnation of MLP ever. It's one of the best reboots ever. And it's probably one of the best shows ever. 
ever made. I mean, they really took the time to make this show awesome, fantastic, um, educational, thought-provoking, and just fills you with joy. Because I've seen so many people say they would have depression, they would watch My Little Pony, and that's how they would get their joy back. It really helped them with depression. It even cured depression for a lot of people. And people with illnesses and diseases, they would have so much fun that they would actually be recovering faster and healing. And it just show the magnitude and the power of friendship, I guess, and the power of its writing. And it's a shame we probably won't get another show like this either in a while or ever because this really was one of the best things Hasbro put out and one of the best reboots ever made. Now, if you have seen Friendship is Magic, let me know think of it in the comments below. Did you really love it? Did you just like it? Or did you really just not care for it at all? And if you haven't seen it, I recommend seeing it. Can't really go to Netflix now because they decided to start taking it off in favor for a new generation, which you can see it any time now but if you if you want it's available for you to see on YouTube or you can go to um, various sites to watch the whole series in its entirety because it's definitely a show worth watching even if you don't like every episode you're always gonna love what they have and to come back for more so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all again soon later